We're joined by the uh, Big 12 Conference uh, champion uh, OSU Cowboys. We have head coach Josh Holliday, student athletes Ryan Cash, Garrett McCain, and Carson Teal. And we'll start with a statement from the coach. Thank you. <coughs> um, unbelievable performance by these kids. <coughs> I, uh, I don't even really know where to begin. Um, Obviously, the kids at the table here had a huge part in today's game, but uh, the entire group deserves to be recognized for the, the way they pulled together. Uh, as I told the kids in the huddle 12, 13 days ago, whatever it was, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, after losing to Oral Roberts, we were, we were in a tough spot. And uh, we talked about how fascinating it would be to get on the other side of that and then look back on it and figure out how we did it. And I can't tell you how thankful I am that they uh, did that. Um, one, something we'll never forget in life is how to turn something around that's not going your way and that it can be done. That, that lesson was learned. Um, but the individuals that took the initiative of, on our team uh, to perform and, and to continue to fight rather than roll over, because we certainly could have, uh, to inspire the other guys to join in and then to perform when it mattered the most, uh, they did OSU baseball uh, a great service. They, they represented our uniform, our hat, our fan base, our tradition, the way um, we've asked them to do it. And I just appreciate their efforts. Uh, they're very inspiring the way they, they've hung in there all year long. And uh, we were pretty much kicked to the curb and left uh, for dead when it comes to having any type of run in us. So these kids deserve all the credit. They stood together as a team. They kept the belief, even though at times it was tough. And uh, I'll let you talk to them about it. It was their day, and uh, they made me real proud. Knowing where you guys were after that OR, ORU game that, that Josh mentioned, what's this like now to have to realize what you guys have done? You know, there are a lot of highs and lows all throughout the year. And, uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, everyone preaches it's a long season, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Uh, you know, and, and there were moments where uh, we showed glimpses of, of how we could play, playing this style of baseball. And then, uh, you know, it, it was almost like we'd, we'd go to sleep and then the next day we'd forget, you know, what we had just done. And so, you know, kind of after that ORU and like you said, that ORU loss and uh, Coach Holiday talking to us about how cool it would be to, to, you know, see it flip, see the tides turn. And knowing, you know, knowing that he had all the confidence in the world in us um, only allowed us to play better, allowed us to play more free, uh, you know, because whenever you have the, the support and the belief of your coaching staff, the guys that are with you every day, um, you know, who are always at practice at every rep in the cage. Uh, you know, when, when they verbalize that they believe in you and verbalize that, um, you know, they have all the faith in the world in you as a player, it, it kind of gives you a, a sense of relief. And, uh, you know, I think it really allowed us to go out against OU and just kind of, you know, what do we have to lose? We, we have to win these two games to get to the tournament. Uh, once we get to the tournament, who knows what could happen? Uh, you know, so that's what we did against OU. And then we, we got in the tournament and we were like, okay, well, it's the same situation. We got to win these games to, to make a regional to continue our season. So what's to lose? Um, you know, and it's just, it's, it's special and it's fun to see, uh, you know, the turn that we made after ORU, after, a, you know, it was a tough moment, a tough game to, to be on this side of it, the other side of the coin. It, it's awesome. It's a great feeling. Heather. 